right here and I'm finally going to open this. You can probably tell by the side what it is. Oh, what's it from? It's <laughs> my pack and slip. So I did get the uh, replacement blades for the uh, what's it called? Great German thing. So I thought I might as well have spares handy for when I finally use it. And it's nice. It comes with there's a, it comes in its own. Uh, there are two blade covers. I wasn't even sure if it would or not. That's nice. Oh, the bore up. I think I might actually. Well, normally I keep it, but I have so much bubble wrap on it, I think I might just recycle this. So let's put that over there for now. The awesome. Yeah, well, definitely that's the back of the box. So, one second. It would be very nice if the box itself had handles or like hand pulls the like handles, you know, on the side of the box to be easier to lift up. Yes, yes, yes. Then frame, rollers, and gears, solid cast construct for unsurpassed strength and pressure, pressure and durability. 6.25 inches wide work surface. Our work surface accommodates all of the pressure tools. And material that's easily Easily cuts a wide range of materials for endless possibilities. Modern design, flexible, very handy. Okay. The compact size for your favorite space. Now includes universal plate system, exclusive 3D embossing folder, and exclusive cutting die set. is the 3D embossing folder and cutting die set. For some reason I'm having... Uh, I'm thinking this might... Is this the right one? Okay, I'm gonna stop the video and check because I have an inkling that this isn't the right one. This is the next week, literally like um, Friday. I can't remember when I actually started recording. Actually, I think I started recording on the Friday last week. And the reply, great customer service, very fast. And just sent off the, uh, the wrong machine and got this, because the return address I was in this box. So, looks a lot bigger. <laughs> okay, so this is the pack and slip. Okay. 
since it looks very good, it does say the word the number is 8.625 inches on it, so I believe it is the right one. Now just to get it out of the box, this is another thing about it. Okay, so let's just move this over here so I can use it. And just when I took all the pictures for the other one. Obviously. But I, it was only after I finished taking a picture that I realized it was the wrong one. Luckily, I didn't actually open it. The question is, can I get this out? How do I get this out? Oh. It's coming. So like on this side it shows the universal plate system. Was this the back? Yeah, that was the back. This is the front. Okay, that's the right one because it has the happy birthday. This closer. It says universal plate system. Exclusive 3 D embossing folder, exclusive cutting die set. A picture of the side. And then let's see. That's the embossing folder and the that design with all the interlocking circles. I'm pretty sure you saw the front, even though it was upside down. So, it just says, features easy turn handle. You know, the cranking handle there. Compatible with most standard etched dies, standard embossing folders, and steel rule dies. Of course, with for my hot follow system. What's in the box? A platinum machine, turning handle arm with handle and hardware, instruction manual, universal plate system, which is the A, B, C, D, E, F, exclusive 3D embossing folder, exclusive cutting die set, registration information card, dimensions, opened machine 7.0 by 16.625 inches by 16.375 with handle. Closed machine is 0 point, I mean 7.0 by 16.625 by 6.75 inches. And the, the universal uh, plates, I don't know what The platform base. 12.9 by 8.58 B hot and top 12.2 by 8.42 inches The cutting plates 12.2 by 8.42 which is the same as the B one And the adapter plate is the same size as well as the embossing mat is the same size And the shim is the same size It's only the platform base is slightly longer. Is it longer? Wider? Whatever. Longer will do. <laughs> I'll be safe. The exclusive folder, the awesome folder is 5.5 5 
by 8.5 inches. If you guys care about that. So yes, this is gonna be heavy. <laughs> heavy. I'll put it this way just to show you the right way. The handle, fewer turns with less force, spring rolls and gear side cast construction for unsurpassed strength, pressure, and durability. 8.625 inches wide work surface. Work surface accommodates all of the project needs. Materials easily cuts a wide range of materials for endless possibilities. Modern design works carrying handle compact size for your creative space. I'm, I'm the one space. <laughs> yeah, you want to see what the rest of the, the rest room looks like. So, it's exciting. So, the uh, exclusive is in there. Oh, yeah. Plates are heavy by themselves, that's for sure. I might as well show you that. Everything in here. We'll be back in there in a second. Okay, we got the register. It's got a thing that's that is what's included. How to put the handle on, chain preparation, and it's got a uh, let's make a sandwich cleaning and maintenance troubleshoot warranty. And um, Clean the slight damp cloth in the and do not use a cleaning product or chemical cleaners on the machine. Canned air may be used to remove dust and debris from small areas of the machine. The cleaning handle requires lubrication because a swelled up household dish detergent between the white and silver parts of the turning handle and handle arm. Rotate turning handle to distribute. distribute. Alternatively, remove and immerse the turning handle into clean water. With this detergent, do not use chemicals such as WD-40. For the long life of the cutting plates, use both sides and remove any scrap material after the cutting. It's got how to build a cutting die sandwich, how to emboss a cut shape, how to build a 3D embossing folder sandwich, and how to build a standard embossing folder sandwich. Lots of sandwiches! So I'll keep this open on the part where the handle is so I know what to look for. Anyway, so here is the Spellbinders 3D embossing folder. As I said, it's like interlocking circles, kind of circles. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So that's that. And then we've got the Happy birthday. With like a flower and some leaves. One, two. So like
know, maybe the picture at the end will show you better. I don't know. So, we have an F. The F is a shim. Just like a, like a plastic -y kind of paper thing. No, this is not a cutting surface. Okay, then we have E. Two new platforms A and B provide more flexibility with different thickness dies and 3D embossing folders. New adaptive plate D can be used with many 3D embossing folders. Also use adapter plate D with the rubber embossing mat E to emboss with detailed dies. New shim F can be used to add more pressure when needed for cutting, for die cutting and embossing. Clear identification with platforms and plates A to E. Easy to create die cutting and embossing sandwiches. Otherwise, just because it, it, it very clearly says the letter on it. Um, updated die cutting and embossing sandwiches are printed on the platforms for effortless reference. So, E is the embossing mount, and D is the adapter plate. And the adapter plate is not like a thing, it's like a salt. And then we have two cutting plates that have kind of like a tissue paper in between. And we have a top platform which actually shows two of these sandwiches, which is how to build a cutting die sandwich and how to get emboss to cut shape. That's that's the third B. And a platform base. Embossing folder sandwich and 3D embossing folder sandwich. So it's got the these two like on the part, on the uh, top the B one, and it's got these two as well. It's very thick. So back in there so I don't lose anything for the time being because we need to get the machine together. Okay. 
Okay, so here we have the handle with bits. So I'll go over here and I'll sort of move over. I shall not deny that he's heavy. <laughs> so let's just move it. Had handles of its own, too. Let's see, should I just put it on top of it? Yeah. Well. Putting this bag is not a toy. Plus, the bags would be dangerous. To avoid suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children. Which is the basic plan in every plastic bag you find. Circle thing and a wrench type kind of thing. You can tell I don't I don't do I don't do a tool maybe since I can it Okay, so what do we do? This is what the handle looks like. Like after we get everything in there. Oh, pop this on in. Yeah, okay. 
So what can I do? Okay, find a suitable workspace to use your machine. Ensure it is clean and flat. Dry and smooth surface. Oh, I will eventually. <laughs> um, let's see. Place the machine front facing so that the so that the metal post is on the right hand side of the machine. It's on the right hand. Um, position the turning handle on, on the middle post, matching the flat side. Sure. It's only flat on one side, it's flat on both sides, the semi circle. But anyway, um, what do I do now? Can you slide the washer into the screw and place both inside the openings at the top of the turning handle? Well, it's really just got a picture of the thin circle bit and then the black thing, I guess. You put this thing in here, then you place this in here, in here. Using the supply down wrench, turn the screw clockwise to tighten the insert clock to cover. To move the turning handle, you can turn the screw clockwise to use the number one. Place the clockwise and tape it to your machine. That's a tip thing. I don't know if I tape it to the machine. Well, let's just make sure it's going to do it to the time, I guess, because now I'm going to do it. This is a tiny wrench thing, that's for sure. I think I have a random tool thing like this. And I keep it in my, with the other tools that I have in my fine cabinet, I think. Not too positive. But like if they had like a little space to like in like insert this like underneath here, you know, or something. That'd be cool. Maybe with the future idea. Yeah, insert like its own like repair, like well, repair kit or whatever, like on the bottom or something. I don't know. But like, so like I need like see wheels turn. So. I 
this one. Try something out. Um, currently, I'll just do you do this on the floor because I don't really have my desk set up or anything. So well, we'll do it on the floor, right? Okay. So I actually need to get something. Um, before I actually move, I, I might be able to clear up some of my desks. Actually, make something up there. Maybe. Um, so I just thought I might as well read out the warnings from the back. Before operating the spellbinders patent machine, please read all safety precautions. Warning. Pinch hazard. Avoid roller gears. Obviously you don't want to put your hands in there like me. Pinch hazard. Avoid placing fingers between platforms and pipes. Yeah, see that. Uh, do not overload the machine or apply excess pressure. Cutting hazard. Avoid contact with the die bins. Mm -hmm. Close supervision is required when machine is used by or near children. Caution. Do not use outdoors or near water. Caution. Only use on a sturdy, clean, dry, and flat surface. Do not attempt to repair the machine. Do not contact moving parts. Only use accessories manufactured, sold, or recommended by Spellbinders Paper Arts. Notice. Wait, that was the important section. Uh, notice. Machine is not to be used for its... No, no, no. Machine is to be used for its intended purpose and not for any other purpose. Save these instructions. Drop the instructions. Yes, I'm excited to get started. 